Five, four, five, six, good. This is TV, TV. Yes, we have a lot of good news here today. We're speaking with Margaret McKenna. Hi, Margaret. How are you? I'm good, Paul. How are you? Good. Always a pleasure to speak with you. You're the president of the Walmart Foundation, and you guys do a lot of good news, and thank you for doing it. And also, Enid Borden. Hi, Enid. How Hi, are Paul. you? Good, Paul. Also, president and CEO of Meals on Wheels Association of America. And we're going to announce today, and we're very proud and honored to get the opportunity to do that, to get into the inside story of one of the biggest charitable donations in history, $2 billion, to help end hunger in the United States. How come a lot of people think that there's not hunger in, New York, in the United States? I, it? I mean, I'll tell you why they think. I, I think because we know that we live in such a rich nation. This is a nation of great bounty, and we're all kind of become complacent about it. We can't. We have to open up our eyes. I mean, this is good news. The, your, your network is about good news, and there is good news. But there's also bad news. And the bad news is that 40 million people are suffering from hunger in this country. I represent 6 million seniors in this country who are suffering from food insecurity or hunger. So the good news is that there's something we can do about it. The bad news is that, in fact, there is hunger in America. The other good news is that we have companies like Walmart that step up to the plate and make a commitment. And, and this, this number, two billion with a B, is an astounding number. They are really leading the way to, to telling every American in this country, Walmart is a household name. We all know when Walmart says something, we listen. And what Walmart is saying to all of us in America today is, there is hunger in this great land, but there's something we can do about it. And they stepped up to the plate to do something about it. And we're proud to partner with them. Sam Walton would be very proud today, Margaret. Sam Walton would be very proud today. You know, he has always been the model of, you know, uh, we have a lot. Walmart's the largest grocer in the United States, and we owe a great deal to our customers, our communities, our neighborhoods. And this is, you know, we have a lot of responsibility as the largest grocer, and, and this is one way of our fulfilling that responsibility. Okay. And but you in addition to this, you do more. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, we're very interested in uh, in supporting people uh, of all kinds, particularly children, to have the education and training they need to succeed and live a, lead a dignified life. But so we're very, very committed to educational opportunities and training opportunities for those people who have been displaced out of jobs. But, you know, kids can't learn if they're hungry. And, you know, hunger is probably, not only probably, but is a major reason for academic failure. I mean, if kids are hungry, they come in Monday morning and they haven't had any nutritious meals, they're going to have a very difficult time learning anything. And so we just have to address this problem. And, and also, lack of breakfast has a great deal to do with obesity. So just like the First Lady Michelle Obama is talking about we about the obesity problem, obesity and hunger are connected. Well, you guys are they are taking charge here and, and doing good. Uh, tell us about the uh, organization, how uh, your uh, meals or city meals uh, on wheels got started, and uh, and how people can get involved. Well, Meals on Wheels uh, is a very old organization in the United States. It's even actually older than I am, and not, most things are not older than I am. But it began after World War II in this country, in 1945, actually. It's been around for a long time. It's a household name. People know about Meals on Wheels, but unfortunately, most people don't even know exactly what it is. We deliver meals to homebound seniors, those people who are 60 years of age or older. And right there in New York City, you're right, you mentioned City Meals. City Meals is a great program. As great a program as it is and as great a program as all of our programs are, there is still need in this country. We need to feed all of those seniors, those who've raised us, those who fought in our wars. We have to make sure that not one senior goes to bed hungry. It's the richest nation on earth. Think about that. That is something we should be proud of. That is good news. And yet there's hunger in this land. There's something we can do about it. There's something we should do about it. And I'm glad that everybody in New York City who's listening to this can understand that they can make the difference. They are the difference between life and death. All they have to do is go volunteer, go volunteer for a food bank, go volunteer for a Meals on Wheels program, go make that difference. And then, and then, and then, and only then, will we really fight hunger and solve the issue. Well, the good news with our broadcast is that we're worldwide, and, uh, um, and that's uh, 
uh, you know, in essence, I think the, the, it's a more staggering reality is that uh, I think two billion people don't have food. Absolutely. Uh, and an immense amount of children. We've done many, many, many stories on this, on the people that are out there that are, are, are doing are doing good. So so how will this, this uh, wonderful donation by Walmart, how will it be seen in someone's uh, home or someone's uh, senior citizen center or, or children's facility? How, how literally will that happen? Well, we, we will provide more than a billion meals Wow. And we will, for instance, this summer we're uh, providing more than uh, $6 million in grants to Boys and Girls Clubs and Parks and Recreation Departments to provide food to kids in summer programs and to supplement that food with fresh fruit. We're, we have committed to providing a uh, refrigerated truck for every major food bank in the country that needs one. Wow. And we're supporting organizations on the front line like Meals on Wheels who have a long waiting list of seniors uh, who, are, who need meals and just they don't have the resources yet to provide them. So you will see it with seniors, you will see it with children in after school programs and out of school programs. We're working on breakfast programs in schools. We're working on education programs and after school programs to show kids and families how they can cook inexpensively and, and uh, with great nutrition, uh, their meals. So you're going to see that in a lot of different ways. You know, on the walmart.com uh, uh, slash fighting hunger website, I think 16.7 million kids don't know where their next meal is going to be That's coming right. from. 18.5 million children eat free or reduced price lunches at school. So in essence, possibly, and maybe in many situations, that meal at school is it. That meal in school may be the only nutritious meal they have, other than, you know, sort of snacks that are not very nutritious. And it's why we're very concerned about this summer, because the roles of hungry kids has grown and families has grown. So we're very concerned about kids getting nutritious meals this summer. Margaret, you personally, being involved with something like this, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel great. You know, I've, I've uh, spent all of my life in the nonprofit sector, right. you know, as a civil rights lawyer and an educator in the last three years at Walmart. It's nice to be in a position where a company who's the largest in the world is behind on the right side of this issue fighting hunger. It's a very powerful place to be, and I'm very appreciative of the kind of impact that we can have. I mean, it, as the president and CEO of Meals on Wheels, that must be a tremendous honor. It is an honor. I've been honored this way for 20 years now. But in this 20 years, what I've seen is the rates go way up. More people are hungry now than ever before. And fewer and fewer people are actually able to even provide meals and provide the donations that we need. So that's why when this, you're right, Paul, this is a great day. This is a day when corporate America said, we're going to help. We're going to do something about it. So I am honored. I'm proud. I love what I do. I have the best job in the world. Margaret thinks okay. she does. I think I do. <laughs> Uh, well, we honor you both and uh, the company and organizations and the many people behind what you do and the many volunteers, I imagine, as well, Enid? Uh, about 1.2 million. Okay. So the proof is in what everybody does. It's in the, in the real stuff, and that's exactly what you did. Congratulations to you both. It's a big honor for us to share with our audience. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.